All right, all right, all right. It's Bobby G bringing you some late night lime green fluorescence and going through my autograph collection, starting with A.N. Ursula Andress. Honey Ryder and Dr. No, James Bond girl, beauty. And I'm gonna zoom in on this incredible signature. Why? Because Ursula is prone to many forgeries, such as this awful one. Nothing like her real signature, just a few things that are similar. Great shot, but no good, not real. You gotta be careful of those fake forgeries. How about falling in love with a portrait? Dana Andrews, 20th century star, fell in love with Gene Turney in a portrait in the movie Laura. Look at this great original still that I sent to him when I was about 15. You'll also note that this other picture that I sent to him, which I didn't even notice at the time, he's wearing the same houndstooth, is that what they call that? The same jacket. Look at the beautiful handwriting. I love how the old stars had great handwriting. He was a good actor too. Oh, remember when I told you that I used to cut out pictures from books at the library? Look at the lame choices that I picked for Julie Andrews when I wrote to her. <laughs> Something from Thoroughly Modern Millie and a TV show with Gene Kelly. I hadn't even seen, I still haven't all the way, don't kill me, Sound of Music or Victor Victoria. And so what do I send her? I send her those and this from Little Miss Marker. But hey, you can't blame me. I got Julie Andrews in my collection. And then subsequently, I bought a couple of collections and I got these. This one, which I had to look up, but I know it's from um, Cinderella, which I think she won a grant, an, an Emmy for. Um, but you guys are going to have to tell me what this is because I have no idea. It's something on Broadway, I have a feeling. I have no idea what that's from. It's a great picture, right? But it's from some Broadway book. I have no idea. Don't hate me for Broadway musicals and my lack of knowledge thereof, but look at the video that's coming about that. Oh, but I do know girl groups, and I do know back in the day, Maxine Andrews from the Andrews sister, sisters was the fantastic girl group, the number two selling group of all time, best-selling girl group of all time. There she is in 1982 when I wrote to her, and I don't know why, I should have wrote to Sister Patty, she was alive as well. While we're on Andrews, everybody knows that I was a fan of Lost, well not everybody knows, but I was a fan of Lost, and I think a lot of people were. This is Naveen Andrews, and here's one of my pet peeves, those gosh darn little trading cards that everybody loves. Those little binders full of trading cards and tammy tammy signatures. I like nice big photos and nice signatures. I can't stand those little trading cards. But for those of you who do, peace be with you and also with you. Um, he went away and you hung around and bothered me every night. You know who sang that? The Angels, my boyfriend's back. Girl group from the 60s. Tracked them down on their website, got all three. All three of them are still performing together, I think. Or maybe that was quite a few years ago that I wrote them, four or five years ago. But Peggy, this one in the middle here, very interesting. She turned down the position of touring with Tony Orlando and Don and tried a solo career in the 70s. Um, didn't do so well, but has a really good disco song called Sweet Sweet City Rhythm, I think it is. So check it out. Friends, how many of us have them? Here is somebody you have to be aware of when you buy her signature. Unless you see her sign in in person, Jennifer Aniston is prone to so many forgeries on the market, it's because her signature does kind of look like that. I love you, Jen, but when you sign something like this, that's a great shot of her. When you sign a little bit of a scrawl, then it's really easy to duplicate. Nobody can duplicate my signature, by the way. Um, I'm just a lonely boy. Look at this baby face. Paul Anka. That is an original Kriegsman photo with an index card, but I had to, I had to show you that photo because I love that photo. This guy, I'm telling you, he, does, he never has to work again. Oh, do you remember that song? You're having my baby. I do remember that. I was nine years old, I think, when it came out. But he wrote My Way and the theme to Johnny Carson. So, hi. Residual, residual, residual. Ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. I want candy. Bum, 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 bum. Annabella Lewin, the lead singer of Bow Wow Wow. I love her. I've met her a couple of times. Most recently, um, just a few months ago, and uh, I told her that I had, <laughs> she has the distinction of having four songs on my workout playlist. <laughs> In any case, that's enough of my musical Tourette's because we would go directly into 
and Margaret. And she has her own video coming up. So thanks so much for tuning in. This is Bobby G going through the Bobby at Gloss Autograph Collection. And uh, I'll see you next time. Have a good night.